Jet is away on the kick. And let's see. It is good. It is good. So with timeout on the field, the score, Alabama 16, the Auburn Tigers 3. Greg Gann is in the punt. Johnny Simmons is going back to the single safety. Mitchell and Langer on the line of scrimmage coming from either side to try to block the kick. Auburn trying to go after it. Here's the snap. They got it. Block kick. Balls back to the 25. Picked up on the bounce at the 25-yard line. And in for a touchdown is David Langer. We'll give credit to Bill Newton for blocking it. David Langer caught it on the bounce at about the 20 and ran it in for the score. And it is. Touchdown, Auburn. The score, Alabama 16 and Auburn 10. Third down, four. Perry Davis, long, long count. Now he gives, no, he's caught, he's got the ball. Mike Neal, Mike Neal at the 42. And they fired Neal and he got Terry Davis back at the 42 yard line. It'll be fourth and 10 Alabama. Greg Gant standing on his own 30, Auburn will try to block it. Auburn going after it, here's a good snap. It is blocked, it is blocked, it's caught on the run. It's caught on the run, he's gonna score. David Wagner, David Wagner is scored and Auburn is tied the game. And Roger Mitchell blocks the kick. Roger Mitchell blocks the kick, and it's 16 to 16, and the entire Auburn team has come out to get David Singer. As Dave Beck will hold, Gardner Jett will attempt on one of the biggest point afters you ever want to see. What a big one. All right. Snap, kick. Good! Good! With time out on the field, the score is Auburn 17, Alabama 16. Right, here's Davis back to throw. Lots of time. He's away up the middle. Overthrown. Intercepted at the 41. Auburn ball. David Langner. The Auburn Tigers have defeated the University of Alabama 17 to 16 in one of the stirring comebacks that you ever want to see in the history of football.